Capricorn. Welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm going to be doing a unique reading. It's the sandwiched time between the Sagittarius full moon that occurred last week for the collective and the first few stirrings of June in the first few days. This moon that we just experienced, the flower moon, was so beautiful, wasn't it? It's really inspiring a lot of expansion, growth, and transformation. I wanted to take a look at what it was activating for you, what um, what you need to maybe release too as well, because full moons are about letting go and releasing and transformation, all right? What part of your life or what situation is this energy impacting? So let's get started. Thank you for tuning in, for sharing this space with me today. It's a pleasure to be able to read for you. <clears throat> And thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Capricorns. I'm going to do one quick shuffle. This is the Sacred Geometry Activation Oracle Deck. All the decks I use are in my description box if you're curious about them. Let's see what frequency. What frequency did this activate in you? What was it inspiring in you? And I'm doing this in the spirit of clearing the way for a magnificent June for everyone. What is it that we need to really consider so we can have a fabulous month ahead? Allowance. Ooh. Letting go of control, I'm getting, of a situation. The frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow... The universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. Now that, I love this. This is the number nine. And it might be a lesson that you've learned on your path that when you allow things and you don't push things with a, with a hidden agenda or any agenda at all, you may have even encountered that outside of you. And you let things flow naturally. There's an ease about it. Allow. Ooh, I just saw 222. Two, two. This might have a lot to do with your closest relationships, whether they're at work or in your home environment, because twos are about how we relate to others. In what ways do you need to allow for whatever? It sound, you, some of you were calling in newer energies, and you're just opening, right, and allowing. We're going to go with this may hurt. And I'm going to be pulling a magical spirit oracle message at the end today. We're just doing a stripped down version of my typical monthly, mid-monthly spread. Stay tuned for the June readings. I am going to be doing that very soon. So I'm looking forward to seeing what, what is in store for everyone for the month ahead. This is a little bit of a preview. All right, overall general energy. Wow. Well, you might be allowing for the money to be coming your way. And also, the deeper message of the Ten of Pentacles, especially what I'm picking, picking up on, is peace. Peace in anything that you're nurturing long term. Peace between family members, peace between you and someone by your side if you're in a partnership, peace amongst you and your children. Peace. I'm getting this. You want the spirit of peace to reside within you and you want everyone around you to be okay. What is the opportunity that this called in? Ooh, the hangman. You might be in a bit of a time out personally, taking in your environment through the spirit of observation. Ooh, I've got a little gnat. It is extremely humid here. So the hangman is about seeing from a different perspective. This moon may have changed the way you see something. I'm curious about that. You're seeing things differently. Ooh, the challenge is you want to start, you want to move towards something that is lighting you up in the excitement. <laughs> okay. You know what? I actually, I read so often that when there is a gnat bugging me, there's something nagging at you. There's something nagging at you. Maybe you don't like that, you know, th you've had to wait for maybe a positive new beginning. And meanwhile, you've been just working on your stability. 
It's the hidden truth. Yeah. And, you know, Capricorn, I've been picking this up in your energy frequency for the last bit where you are turning your back to something. As hard as that may be, you are. So you can focus on you, stabilizing you in your energy. All right, let's go deeper and find out. I mean, this moon is definitely, it's giving you a spirit of letting go and surrender. You know, that's the hangman. The challenge is it, it, you may feel like you want to start over in some capacity in your life, but you're still letting go of, of emotions that have weighed down on you. Yeah. Some of you are, are in a new phase in your work, in the, in the duties and responsibilities you have there. You could be in a new role with the Eight of Pentacles and the Fool. And you are, you're climbing that ladder of success or you're really putting a lot of your energy into your career right now and trying to generate more excitement with what you're doing. You may have switched into a different team environment or a different position altogether to kind of inspire new growth. You're communicating with newer people and getting that. And if this doesn't have to do with your career, it's about communicating in a healthier way with the people around you in your home environment and wanting to break through some stagnant energy. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you're, the biggest intention that this moon has has brought is this spirit of really grounding in your energy and working on you and working on your healing putting your needs first we have the king of pentacles the four of swords and the wheel it's it's almost as though change is occurring slowly not as fast as you want it to you may have had some resistance around this pause that you've been in but at first, I, I don't think this is a newer frequency for you. I think this is a culmination of a phase that you've been in around healing and releasing what you needed to release and allowing for yourself to be held and cocooned in that space. Hmm. And I think the more that you've done that, the better you have felt inside of yourself. You are anticipating a lot of changes ahead. And that might be what you're preparing for, especially with work. You could be setting your sights on changing um, into a new role. I'm getting that. Some of you are, are anticipating a new role in the coming months. And right now you're just, just chilling. This moon is, is, is actually calling you to rest, to restore and revitalize your own energy. You could be doing a lot of work out in the world and... You know, money has been very important to you, securing money, building your wealth. I'm so sorry. Gosh, I've got the most itchy nose this morning. All right. You definitely have someone who's thinking about you whenever my nose itches uncontrollably. There's someone that, um, that has been on your mind, whatever you've been releasing these emotions from. They, they've been thinking about you. All right. The hangman is clarified by the knight of swords, the page of wands, and the sun. So... The longer that you've kind of taken this time out and this opportunity moving forward during just, just this week, really, is what I'm reading for, you've, you've found a lot of happiness in the moment, and you're taking that with you towards a brand new beginning here. It is a little bit of a challenge because I think you're concerned that you've taken this time out, and now as you open up into the possibilities of something new, I think there's a little bit of trepidation but you're going to go for it anyway. There's a hesitancy here, I'm feeling, off of you. But you're going to go for it. You've been waiting for the right timing. And I think that that's what you're seeing. June, everything's lighting up. You want to go in the direction of, of whatever excites you and whatever fulfills you and whatever makes you happy. You might even have someone in mind that you want to work with on a romantic level or on a work level. It's time to get excited, Capricorn. I know I'm being subdued here, but it's because you, you've taken the time out long enough to really hone in on what you need in order to heal. And you're now at that phase in that healing process where you're coming out of that and you're looking around and you're like, whew, I feel better, you know? And what, is, what, is it, what am I going to call in that's new here? 
Ace of Wands is a positive new beginning. And especially with the page of wands underneath it, it's now time to put that desire, right, into motion. And I'm seeing that motion, and it's going to make you happy, I think, to open up again. You're allowing for something to, to move forward after a deep healing phase. Wow, I see you really working hard, though. And maybe that's the, what you needed to do was kind of pull back your energy and not work so much. A lot of you are working very hard. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that you, you have a lot of desires when it comes to romance. And you, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Star. I actually don't see you clinging to anything currently. I see you more holding back. The challenge is, is you may even have someone coming towards you. Uh, that you have recently met or will meet. And the challenge is, is you discerning whether this, this, this situation's got the goods, Capricorn. Does this situation have the goods? You have a deep desire, all right? We'll put it that way. You have a deep desire, right? Maybe to fall in love. What's the next chapter in your love life? Because this is new energy. You may have someone who's, who's, <laughs> who wants to date you, wants to ask you out, wants to be with you, you but you're like, you're like not ready, not ready, not yet. This is the classic case of I want to drop down my guard. I want to experience something new, but I have a little bit of fear because if it's not what it what the ultimate, right? The ultimate desire is I want to feel a certain way when it comes to my love life, right? And you're like, you're not, what I'm seeing here is you're not in a time frame or you haven't been in the past where you were ready to even contemplate that. And now you're like, well, if, if I'm calling this in because I aligned with that vibration of the love I want to receive, then I'll take it. But if it's not that, I don't want it. It's like you, you're, you're kind of open and closed at the same time, but it's, it's very specific to a certain vibration, a certain feeling, because you've been working through some pain at the bottom of the deck, slowly but surely coming out of a painful phase, grounding in your, in your feminine and masculine energies. You could have gone back and forth about this level of independence in your life. If you were, you may even debated with what you recently came out of, of whether you should return to that. I'm getting though that ultimately you decided to move on because it was going to be too challenging for you to remain. Yeah. I think this is, these are the voices in your head that tell you you're not ready for a new start, a fresh new energy. If this has to do with your work situation, you feel a little bit held back in your ability to have all of your skills and all of your knowledge really shine you may feel a bit marginalized in your job responsibilities and a desire. There's a desire for you to break free of these energies and really showcase your talents. So I do see that you might be given a new opportunity here through the activation of this moon to really jump into the decision, right? Of Okay. I think that I've reached enough of the letting go process of the past and it doesn't mean you're completely done with that. I think the challenge is you getting up in your head about it instead of going with, you know, if something comes towards you and it feels good, I wouldn't automatically discredit it because you think that it's not the right time. Now, it's up to you. Take what resonates here. But I do believe you're calling in wish fulfillment when it comes to romance. But you're afraid. You're afraid to open up because in the past... When you did, it didn't align, right, with what you ultimately knew was best for you. And now you have the opportunity to, to, to try again, not with the past person, but with someone new. And this is the fear that we have to overcome and the, the worry and the self-doubt that, well, if I open up to this, am I going to ultimately get what I desire? Because I've been alone and I'm good on my own, but... You know, it would be nice to share my heart with someone. Capricorn, you are working on manifesting. This is the bottom of the deck. I know it's hard, but you are manifesting a beautiful new beginning where you have the potential to be with someone long term. 
you're coming out of hermit energy and you are heading straight for wish fulfillment, satisfaction, happiness, opening up your arms to someone and your heart. You have an opportunity to harmonize with someone. Now, if this is someone that you've been currently dealing with, you both are going through a very deep healing phase. You could have broken apart to actually reignite and inspire a new chapter in the relationship itself. Some of you are, are really breathing new life into a connection that you, that you are going to hold on to. And this is the judgment that you're making around, can we overcome this challenge? Well, whenever we have challenges in any love bond, this is about turning our back and letting go, right? And allowing, right, for the higher energies to come in and not trying to control outcomes. I feel this, this dropping of resistance, Capricorn, overall in this reading. So you can allow what you really want in. It's, it's, a, it's a vibe, right? I can sit here and talk about the external storyline, but I think for you, you want to feel a certain way when it comes to your heart. And I see it really, you're starting to get to that place where you're really calling that in and aligning with it. Whether it's someone you've been dealing with and you've been dealing with a lot of friction and bumps along the way, or, or you, a lot of you, most, I think there's some of you where I am dealing with, you're already a couple and you've been in this long-term commitment and you're going through a very deep healing phase and it's changing the way you both are together. But a lot of you I'm reading for people right now who were ready to enter the dating pool rather timidly <laughs> and calling in, hopefully, right? Beautiful energies. Trust your discernment. Whoever you start engaging with, I think the challenge is, is you opening up again, Capricorn, not being tainted by any kind of experience in the past that may have left, left a bad taste in your mouth. You've been glowing up. You've been holding back. I think there's someone that you've been releasing that you just couldn't trust the situation with. We have Empress Seven of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're manifesting from aligning with your Divine Feminine. I think you've been softening your energetic frequency so you can not struggle to... Here's the thing, when we call something in, um, it's a frequency you align with, but you first have to feel that love within you. And I think that you're like, oh yeah, I'm right there, Jenna. I'm right there. I'm right there. In other words, I think this moon is helping you to reach the final stages of aligning with a frequency of love in your love life that you want to feel in another because you have it within first. Beautiful work, Capricorn. You're ready. I'm, I'm giving you the green light to uh, open up your heart again. What is the advice from spirit? I just got goosebumps. So I think if you're scared, if you're worried, don't be. Yeah, I know you're scared. Four of Pentacles came flying out. You're scared of, uh, of being vulnerable and maybe uh, opening up yourself physically to someone again and, you know, come what may. <laughs> come what may. Knight of Cups. I feel like it's, it's someone coming towards you and the challenge is, are you gonna, are you gonna let them in, Capricorn? You're gonna let them in. Another Knight of Cups. <laughs> Spirit Singer, you got, you got a choice to make. You got a choice to make. I'm letting Spirit handpick these. <laughs> You're like, I will, but I'm gonna take my damn time, that's for sure. And I'm gonna make sure that this matches my vibrational frequency, yeah. Good job. You've been in a transition. I think your past experience has really disappointed you, but now you're like, you got a little giddy up. <laughs> you got a little giddy up. I think you've been working on making yourself happy. Being in, a, in an open state of surrender is a beautiful place to be when you know that you can meet all of your needs on your own. And then you start to begin to anticipate a new chapter for yourself after you really release the old. I'm seeing you embodying a perfect vibrational frequency of releasing the old in a healthy way and aligning with the frequencies and the energies that you want to call in that are new for you, that will be a better match for you in the future when it comes to how you express love and how you move forward in a connection. So I think you're going to be really, I'm laughing because this hangman, you're like, I'm going to really take my time and do my due diligence and I'm going to do all the homework and I'm going to make sure. I think whatever you call in next 
In the past, you may have moved too fast in situations or the most recent past. And now you're deciding, okay, that didn't really work for me because I, I skipped some steps, you know, and maybe I didn't do enough of the evaluation of whether I was truly aligned with this person. Maybe we were so different that the compatibility shot us in the foot in the end. And now you're showing me that, oh, it needs to be compatible. And I'm going to make sure before I really, really, really think it's my wish, I'm going to take my time. So take your time. And try to, your best to overcome any fear around opening up and trusting yourself. I think you've earned the right to trust yourself at this point, Capricorn, with, with aligning, right, and allowing yourself to feel. Man, I think this past person, though, is you're either thinking about them a lot still or they're thinking about you because my nose has not stopped itching this entire time. So that's, that's my indication that you've got someone thinking about you. I feel it in my body, y'all. So, and I think that's been hard for you to turn your back on somebody. You may have been challenged to maybe repeat another cycle with someone, but you knew, I think, you didn't. You didn't because you knew it wasn't your, your wish come true. Yeah. You're aligning with your star energy when it comes to romance. Beautiful, Capricorn. Beautiful. I'm so pleased. This is, you're very solid here. Very solid and very sure and very secure. There's a little bit of trepidation, but I don't, it's not, you know, I don't think you're going to sabotage any new experience. You're just going to make sure that you're doing your research and that this person's frequency that you're calling in matches yours. And when you give, they give equally back and you're not rushing in. Okay. No love bombing. Okay. This summer. All right. What is the magical spirit oracle? Some of these have been hard to come out. There we go. Hmm. The shaman. Lunatic Insights Cosmos. Ooh, this is an intense card. Number 30. The shaman. Another, I saw another 222. This is definitely about partnerships. All right. I choose to listen and dance to the secret songs of the universe. Hell yeah. That's what you've been doing, Capricorn. I think you've really gone inward. And it's really helped you a lot to ground your energy and stabilize. The crazy, the shaman, the one who sees lunatic is a word derived from the Latin word luna, meaning moon. So a lunatic is one who is moonstruck. There is a face on the moon. Can you see it in the night, even when others cannot? This is the great paradox of the mystic. You hear the whispers that others cannot. You hear the secret songs of the universe. It's okay to be an outsider in a world of conformity and contempt, a world where those who are different are met with rejection from society, even if they are the shamans, the seekers, and artists who point us to the way of the truth, soul transformation. The moon is beaming sacred truths, mysteries, and visions to the one who can receive them, the one who is open to them. Some people have a special gift of insight that is revealed to them during certain times. It is in the divine order of the cosmos for those who are chosen. Pulling the shaman card can be a call to embrace more of your crazy side. Yeah, you've been in this stable energy and I feel like you're opening up and it's about having fun. I think you have a very silly, playful nature that wants to come out. Maybe things got pretty serious along your healing journey. You may be judged by others, but what you gain is far superior to, for, to their disapproval. The world needs more mystics and shamans to show us the soul of the world, to point us away from the suffocation of too much conformity, mundan mundanity, and stagnation. The energy behind this card is that of dreams, ideas, and visions, especially spiritual and creative ones. Express, act on, create, and share what you're receiving from the mysterious. Harness your power of insight. Do not let it fade away and dim within you. In other words, use it or lose it. The more you do, the stronger it will become. Pay attention to which secret songs the universe come to you at this time, and when you hear them, don't forget to dance. You can try staying up a little later than you usually do, lighting a candle and seeing what comes through, spending time in spiritual solitude, and greatly enhancing this time for you. Guided meditations that specifically open your third eye will be beneficial. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because what I didn't gather, I went straight for love because of the Knight of Cups showing up, but underneath it all, this is about being creatively inspired and going after your life with a sense of romanticism 
in your own creative expression with your own frequency and gaining that enlightened perspective around how you, unique you are. You may have had to even fight your way through being unique in a very conservative environment. I'm getting that. I don't know why I'm getting that because, you know, especially with the King of Pentacles, it's like that something around you not pushing against the powers that be and letting go and allowing for these energies to arise within you. Creative inspiration, the dance of life, the shaman energy. How beautiful. This feels like beautifully poetic, Capricorn. This moon is inspired freedom, creativity, desire, fun, playfulness, and allowing all that in. Coming out of a period of things being more serious and heavy to lighter and playful. Beautiful, beautiful. I think you're, set, you're setting yourself up to have a wonderful June. I can't wait to read for you all for the month ahead soon. Many blessings to you. Keep it up, Capricorn. Take care.